John Gregory, David O'Leary and Paul Lambert have all overseen wins at St Mary's as Aston Villa's manager. Can Remy Gard follow suit as he looks to mastermind the climb towards safety? This season's only three-point haul so far came on the south coast at Bournemouth on the opening day. Let's hope the visitors can thrive in the sea air once again. The Saints are on the back of three straight defeats, the latest a heavy one in the League Cup in midweek. Froggy, a good or a bad time to play them? Bad. Okay. Because on the back of a 6-1 thumping at home, they will be fuming as a, as a group of players. Now, they've made changes, Jack, so th their strongest lineup will, will, I guess, be playing against us at the weekend. But they will be fuming with that result, and uh, Ronald Koeman will be expecting um, a reaction from his team. And I would as a player. I mean, we've all had you know, games where you've got beat, and you, you want to... The game can't come quick enough. So if you play midweek and the game Saturday, it's great because you can forget about the game, get on with the next one, and they'll want to prove their own supporters wrong. I see what you're saying, but playing a devil's advocate or villain's advocate, perhaps that should be, do you not think that the fact they've conceded that many goals in midweek, there could be a fragility to the confidence of, of Southampton's back line and, and that might just play in Villa's I mean, possibly, but they could say the same about us, Chad. Yeah. We, we're on the back of conceding three goals at home against yeah, Watford. Fair point. So if you look at it, this could be a, a great game with lots of goals. And, and we're on the back of a much improved performance. Mm. Pointless again, but much improved in terms of how we look going forward, the fact we look like scoring goals. It's just like, like, like obviously, to say about Southampton, it's that fragility at the back that is costing us, obviously, more than Southampton right now. But Southampton are a good team, Jack. You can't, yeah. you can't hide away from that. There, you know, there's some wonderful players in their side, and, and they will be, like any team in the Premier League, a very difficult opponent. Is that the quintessential problem for... Remy Gard, I did ask him this question at Bodymore Heath during the week, getting the balance between yeah. being solid, being steady, not conceding, and still having the opportunity to go forward and create the chances uh, and, and score some goals. It's that seesaw effect, isn't it? It's a finding that balance at the yeah. moment. You go to the Man City game where we defended for our lives, got a good draw, but didn't cause any trouble going forward because mm. we, we were set up solid. But at the bottom of the table, seven points looking up above us, we can't just go away to Southampton and be solid because a point's not enough. We, we need victories. So there's always that inherent risk is if you, you throw players forward, yeah, we might score a couple of goals, but we're also like to concede a couple. So it, it, it's, it's an awful choice for the manager to say, how do we set up against these teams? Yeah, last week we talked about the importance of the fixtures from Newcastle onwards, but actually it, it would give them the perfect tonic, wouldn't it? To, to get something from here or again in, against Arsenal in that home game at Villa Park. And the reality is, actually, the position Villa are in, every game they have to be confident of getting something because, because we're in, it's, it's that severe at the moment. I think if you look at the other side of it, at the moment, what have we got to lose, Jack? Mm. And sometimes as a player, if everyone's written you off uh, and written the team off, sometimes the pressure's almost off you because everyone's sort of, we're doomed, we're going down. Sometimes that's probably not the not the worst position to be in. I mean, mm. Leicester City last year, for instance, were in that same position. Yeah. And look what they did. Uh, so, I mean, you, you just try and find any crumbs of comfort <laughs> in the boat, Jack Day, to think how how can things possibly change. Would you a win? <sighs> oh, that's the easiest thing in the world to say. <laughs> Would you a win a long time? Yeah. It might come in the most unexpected of places. They say we've got Arsenal at home the following week. Mm. Who knows? It might come against them because they can be very up and down, you know, Arsenal. And we do tend to... We do tend to do well against the bigger clubs. Yeah, OK, we'll keep believing. Thanks, Froggy. Much more analysis over on AVTV. Club legend and fit as a fiddle octogenarian, Peter McParland joins me for live commentary on Saturday afternoon. <laughs>